Hey everyone, this is Pete, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate how to use the shrink wrap substitute command to help create a more lightweight version of an assembly that can be helpful in our own upper level assembly work, but also to create a component that is easy to pass along to customers that's more lightweight for them and also protects our intellectual property. So I grabbed this assembly off of GrabCAD and what I like about it is that it actually represents a more complex electrical design. And so this is a great candidate for shrink wrapping because there's a lot of parts here that we don't necessarily need to see. And we also probably don't want customers to see them so they don't end up creating their own. So just a quick shout out to the creator, Hakan. So I just like to represent uh, other people's work and just to give them credit so this is a great model so thanks for producing something so awesome and you guys can check out his other work as well so to do the shrink wrap substitute I'm going to come up here and grab this so the only difference between a shrink wrap and a shrink wrap substitute is the shrink wrap substitute creates an additional level of detail so if you don't care about the level of detail you can just use the shrink wrap but so you can see both, I'm gonna grab the shrink wrap substitute. So the shrink wrap substitute kind of comes in in three different areas, the components, the features, and then some last minute creation details. I'm gonna step through each one individually so you can kind of see how they work. To make life easier, if you already have existing levels of detail, you can start with those and then the different components may already be suppressed can make your selection a little bit easier but in this case I'm just going to start fresh and work backwards and as you can see there are 240 included parts so what I can do is I can select each part to exclude but there's a lot of clicking <laughs> so a shortcut would be select to exclude and you can actually grab all of it so this takes a moment or two, but what happens is now all of the components are excluded and then all I have to do is come back over here and just pick the ones that I want. So this can be a much faster way of accomplishing the goal versus having to come in here and deselect everything. So that's the gist of it. You pick the parts that you want. There of course are other filters between sub-assemblies, individual parts, grabbing all of the same so you can play with those different options but that's the the main portion now they added this in, in 2018 where you can now remove features that you don't want so this is great even if you're doing FEA models and stuff because you can remove fillets I typically just remove all the detected holes so if I go ahead and remove all the detected holes this is the result I get it's going to remove all the internal external holes but it's also going to remove the holes on these gray plates. And I actually need those for the mounting in my assembly and for the customer. So besides removing them, you can also strategically preserve certain features. So I'll go ahead and grab these. Oops. Hey, there we go. Grab these guys. Come on over here, grab the other side. And so in a few clicks, I've removed all the holes I don't want and I keep the holes I do want. So really, really helpful enhancement. And then the last tab is just creating the part. So you can call this thing whatever you want. I'm just going to leave the default. You can play with the BOM structures, etc. But the really important stuff is down below. So how do you want to represent it? I could represent the remaining components as multi-body part but I typically like it just to be one solid. Again, they don't need to know what's going on. They just need to have a part and know how to plug into it. The really important stuff is down below. I wanna fill all internal voids, and if I miss something, just internal parts that nobody sees. So I'll go ahead and hit okay. Uh, this will take just a couple moments, and then we'll regroup. Awesome, so here we see the result. The <clears throat> assembly has completed. All the holes have been removed except for the ones in the gray plate. And if we double check the section view, 
we'll see that it actually did solid fill that box. So nobody knows what's going on inside. It's just a mysterious black box, if you will. But that's exactly what we want to pass along to the customer. So I'll save this. And just to show what also can happen is internal to a new assembly. And I always forget to save this right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite the previous one I had done. Ah, classic Pete. I'll go ahead and place a copy of my shrink wrap substitute and I'll ground it at the origin. Oh, I accidentally placed two of them, so let me get rid of one. There we go. And so if we go up to the bomb, we'll see that, oh, I accidentally picked the wrong one. So, ha, well, this is actually good. So I accidentally placed the substitute. So you can see this is what the customer would see. So I made a mistake, but I'm actually glad I did because this is what the customer would use in their assembly and they would only have the one view. So contrast that if I place this again, and this time I'll actually remember to grab the assembly, I can pick the assembly and then if I look at the options, I can push in the assembly with a level of detail substitution, hit OK hit open. I'll place this just, uh, you know, off to the side a smidge, just so you can kind of see the difference. So in this one, it places it as a substitute. And if we compare the bill of materials, oh, there, classic Pete again, forgot to save it. If we look at the bill of materials, so to contrast the part, which is what the customer would get versus the assembly, which we would use internally does keep track of all the components. So you can with confidence use the substitute level of detail in all your progressing top level assemblies. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.